Okay guys, hey. So I'm going to do my eyebrows first. And I have no idea what I'm gonna do today. But I got this palette I'm gonna try. And what else? Yeah, I'm pretty much going through it. I just lost my job. And I am in steps of looking for a new job and I'm stressed. I'm stressed but I'm gonna try to do more videos because I have nothing else to do and just let my create my creativity flow for a minute and so if I am uploading more videos that is why if I do find a job I will let you know so um let's get into this I'm gonna start off with Urban Decay Primer Potion um, I have been going through it. I just recently got laid off and I am really, I don't know, like I already had like my own breakdown or whatever, but right. so I'm going into Laying Low Paint Pot using that Shanty Brush. By the way, this is like a little bit of kick up. Not a little bit, it's a lot of kick up. It's a lot of kick up. And brother. Okay, so I'm going into Playground. Okay, Playground got a lot of kick up as well. Going on the top of the crease. Okay, now I'm going into that yellow. It's called B. Okay, now I'm going into that black color. Okay, that's getting a lot of kick up as well. Which meaning, I guess um, when you get a lot of kick up, it's like the the eyeshadows are very pigmented. There. I'm using my Sephora um, blend crease brush. Don't don't care about being crisp when you're doing your eyeshadow. I mean, be as messy as possible. Cause you can always clean it up at the end. Don't stress about it. Cause I know a lot of people when they first doing their makeup and they like, oh my god, this is so horrible. What am I doing? Ugh. You know, it's just like take your time. And I'm going into my concealer. I'm using um, Tarte's um, Shape Tape and Porcelain. No, it's fair neutral. Sorry. What is porcelain? I got something over here that's named porcelain. It's so loaded. It's named porcelain. Okay. 
Now I'm going into ring light. I'm going to use a pointed a pencil brush, but it's a little thick. Okay, now I'm going into cola. Okay. Well, I feel like I need more color. So I'm going to go into B. Oh, wow. That is beautiful. It's so beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna use this wipe and I'm gonna clean out this outer part. I'm also make my shape how I like it. I got my ink lot 77. I put my Dura line in it because it was a little dry. Should we get a little closer? Hello. So, I'm going to take this other palette. I'm going to have my hand. I'm going to guide my hand. He said he okay. Good for him. Okay, so we're going to do primer. Uh, since this is in front of me, I'm going to use my Fenty primer. I can't just use it alone because I will be a greasy, greasy mess. But I really like it when I'm wearing my powder foundation from Bare Minerals. Very nice. My Touch of Clot um, primer that I had for a minute. It's a sample. This is the heyday of samples. <laughs> when they are like, you can really make some samples last. Oh, and I did get the um, Sephora Play Box. Um, I got it for last month, but I waiting on this month's play box because I wanted to um, do it all together like because it's, it's not as many stuff in there but certain things I need for my kit I think that's an amazing way to put things in your kit if you're missing out on like me mascara you always need mascara for your kit and I was like well I could just get the play box and um, use that mascara in there. So I'm going to use this right here. This is Too Faced Hangover Primer.
Because sometimes I have sample primers in there too. I have what I need for my kit. Because I do have my AJ Crimson foundations which are a lot smoother good high coverage and I have some some Mac um, I think it was uh, I forget is it cream foundations or whatever doesn't my kit and it's Becca ever matte that I'm putting on let's get into it so we're going into this right here. This is um, Bare Mineral Stick Foundation. This is in Cinnamon 10.5. Um, so I'm going to use a brush, a Morphe brush. This is a G2. Spray it with Avion spray. Here we're going to buff this in. actually eats at Arby's somebody is I do not like Arby's I like their that chicken sandwich with the honey mustard on it but I don't really eat at freaking Arby's I don't know, I think it's like a waste of money. Like if you really want it, like a, a turkey sandwich, why won't you just go to the grocery store and get you some lunch meat? You know, you can eat a turkey sandwich for three or four days if you want, you know? Instead of paying like $5 for that. Well, the same can be said about Subway too. I think it's more like do you want to sit here and uh, cut up all that stuff or whatever to make it your sandwich bomb? I always get tuna when I go to um, Subway though. If I think I'm weird, but I like it. The best tuna sandwich, tuna sandwich I ever had was from my uncle. He car caramelized the onions. It takes him like say, two or three days to make it because he likes it the way he sautés all the vegetables in it. And then you can add black olives if you want to, but he's not putting in in his. But it's so good. He gets like a big can of tuna. Oh, I'm there. Every time I, I hear he's making tuna fish, I'm there for it. I just told him like a while ago, like I need some tuna fish. Cause he ain't made it in like a year. This was like his um, pasta salad. It takes him about maybe two weeks to make it. Cause he, he, everything has to be cut precisely. He's not a chef by the way, but this is just how he likes to uh, do his stuff. It's, it's all time consuming. How are we? Yes. Okay, I'm going into my Fenty concealer. This is in 430. Um, sometime this week, I will be doing a very oh shit over the top makeup look. Like this isn't over the top. <laughs> Ugh. I dig my crazy. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I got a sponge I want to use. 
So I'm gonna use this right here. But yeah, I wanna do like a draggy type of look. I've been watching or looking at a lot of uh, people on Instagram because you know I love um, trying to recreate looks. So I love about. Okay, now I'm going into my cover effects translucent powder. This is in deep. Okay, Fenty Beauty Stick Foundation and Espresso. brush an ME28 spray that with fix well excuse me not fix plus Evian spray and then I'm going to blend to this right here this is espresso by Anastasia and I'm going into cinnamon as well and this is a Mac brush older Mac brush. okay I'm going into my bare minerals oh god bless me um bare Look, Bare Minnows, Bare Pro. This is Truffle 29. Let my Real Technique brush. And I did contour my nose. If you want to see me contour my nose, please leave a comment. Okay, I'm going to use my new Fenty bronzer. This is in Coco Naughty. And yeah, I'm going to use. Okay, this guy's still all of it. My It Cosmetic Fan Brush. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but... finish look ah, yes okay so um, on my lips is 
Chestnut Lip Liner by MAC and this liquid lipstick from uh, Makeup Forever which is 203 and then I put this lip gloss on sorry something in my nose um, lip gloss uh, Wonder Wildflower from Sephora is in here um, on my lip it's in here it's in here so this is the look I'm gonna get a little closer yes ooh rich fish <laughs> my camera keeps like flipping from one end to the other weird <clears throat> so this palette is interesting I don't know I mean I did watch some videos and they did say, you know, um, to use a um, eyeshadow base. And I did, but also put my um, MAC paint pot from uh, Lay and Love paint pot. Oh, and highlighter, I use this right here. This is from MAC. This is an extra dimension skin finish. This is in Show Gold. All right. Um, let me get a little, ooh, action. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. Again, you know me. I'm going, if you know me, I'm going to get to know me. Um, I am going to do uh, another look with the, with this palette and buy all the freaking eyeshadows. So I'm probably going to do more than one, more than two, more than three, more than four. Because I want to get to know this palette and, you know, see you know what it is the pigmentation is great by the way um underneath my eyes i went in with that um i only got to sleep boy brother yeah i think i went in with brother and then i used two of the purples in the palette and i buffed it out but again i didn't use i used a little bit of I primer from Urban Decay up under here, but I don't honestly I feel like it faded. I don't know. Probably let's uh, it's probably gonna fade a little bit more. But yeah, my hair. I um I think I did another video with this wig or whatever, but um wig I made. It's a closure wig um and it's from lens to love i think i think that's the name of the company and uh i just re i had it gray it was gray before and i just went in and dyed it this purple it was supposed to be more pink but it came out super freaking purple it's um kiss dye i have pink petal and i think atomic pink in it so it just went purple so this is it. It's supposed to be like 20 inches, but no, it's not. It's like 18 or so. I really love how it looks like in a ponytail. A little low pony. You know? I feel so sophisticated. But yeah, I haven't did photos yet. So, um, yeah, I think the pigmentation is really good in this, um, and I recently got back into my MAC eyeshadows and I forgot how good MAC eyeshadows actually were because, um, I've been playing around with so many, oh, good Lord, get out of my eyes, so many different eyeshadow palettes and stuff but um I can only say the pigmentation was really well the black worked really well too um the blues at first brother was a little I won't say patchy but I wouldn't I it wasn't patchy but it was um I really couldn't see the color and I had to really like tap it in and the rest of the colors seemed like it worked really well with one another I had a palette that was like like they wasn't even brother and sister they wasn't gonna work together okay but it didn't bother my eyes that's always a plus and 
I don't know. I do feel like this yellow got a little dimmer, but I think the next time I'm just, I'm not even going to use um, a paint pot. I'm just going to use um, my primer potion and just go into doing my eyes. Um, I usually do like another base because I like to um, double base it. Especially if I'm using a certain color and I don't think this eyeshadow will, eyeshadow palette will work so well with um, like my paint pots and stuff. So, uh, cause I've seen people say like the concealer, when I use concealer it really didn't, um, the colors didn't really pop. So I'm going to use um, the Urban Decay Primer Potion next time. And then I do it again, I'm just going to do concealer and we're just going to see. We are going to see. So, um, I just ask people to pray for me and on my job hunt and search. Um, I know it'll be alright. You know. So, bye. Till next time and thank you for watching.